So Donald Trump guilty. That was surprising. Uh, now, there, I hope everybody realizes that in, I mean, I, I covered this um, like anyone else who wasn't able to be there. You, you cover it by watching the experts talking and people when they give um, updates from the court. I mean, there was so much wrong with this case against Donald Trump that the, the judge was bent. His daughter's got question marks. She's making money off him being in court. Uh, the main jury fell apart. Turned out he lied. Also, he was a thief uh, and a perjurer. And uh, then there were this, all these other documents. They weren't even put, submitted as evidence. Or they might be submitted as evidence. They weren't ever discussed or explained to the prosecution. In fact, the defence had a, a witness, an election law witness, one of the only ones in the country, and who could be expert enough to give them that information. And the judge declined it. And he's been found unanimously guilty for a, pro for a crime they couldn't pr prove he committed until it went to the jury. There was no crime to answer for, so he had no defence. There was no crime. So he's just been found guilty of no crime. It could, it, America could got to be very careful. I mean, this is being seen around the world by enemies around the world. And it could really, um, it could cause civil war in America. I can easily see that happening. Um, you know, the with the, the the youth of today, they, you know, they, they're entitled and have just some diversity, um, Equity and inclusion, obviously, that's a really bad thing. But really, I've I've just renamed it deluded, um, entitled insurrectionists because ultimately, you know, the, those campus protests were filled mainly with well, well over the arrests were well over thirty percent LGBT community, and you notice that's been quiet on the rioting front because they all spearheaded together. For Palestine, even though most of them probably didn't know where Palestine, anything about Palestine until the seventh of November, and you know they just they don't have basic logic, they don't live in reality. You know when when the gender identities they create become boring, they up their game, they create new ones. You've got micro identities, neo pronouns. It's a, a world of complete and utter fantasy. Um, and until these people who are very well radicalised and may, many may not ever make it back start to want to live in reality, we can't meet them halfway. We can be kind and say, look, you, you've had a different look of um, reality throughout your education system, so we need to show you some things. But ultimately, you know, they are young, angry, uneducated, socialist, Marxist, communist, activists so that's at the door and now trump the person who has stopped it has been found guilty uh, by a highly democrat biased judge jury and case and um joe joe biden's hitching it with the far left wing the, the really weirdest of the woke and the the weirdest of the trans which has taken over the movement uh, it's now 2S LGBTQQ plus IA. What the hell? The old LGBT movement need their, their own one back because the T's have just, these new group of young T's, trans, some, some places in America are reporting 30% of 18 to 25 year olds or 16 to 25 year olds, I think it was, um, identify as trans. Well, it used, before it, when it was a mental health disorder, it used to be, yeah, um, in 2019, it was declassified by the World Health Organization as a mental health disorder. Five years later, look at Eurovision Song, Class, um, song Contest as the perfect example. But look around you. What do these people think? Watch some of the videos. What do they actually believe? It's insane. We can't meet insane people halfway by. We, we, we can't agree to one of their demands because one of their demands would be to accept a part of their reality, which isn't real and we need to bring them back to a reality and uh, i'm sorry but they need to pay consequences real life consequences for real life crimes if they've 
protested, they got violent, they got arrested, they need to be expelled. They need they should be paying back their student loans and be expelled. If they're on student visas, they should be import, uh, deported. If they're illegal migrants, they should be deported. Even if they've got a migration visa, they should be deported if they were adults who were agitating with, with the youngsters. This is not good enough, uh, and we just won't stand for this um, kind of thing, this absolute far-left won't take over attempt, because all of us are a bit wiser now. We know about WPATH. We know the trans surgery is a very dangerous thing, and we know that CRT is not good to teach in schools, and it turns out racist, violent, um, self-identity problem, polit uh, identity politics issues, insecure, um, completely pampered young uh, ideologues into the world to be, to join, any, they could have joined any cult, but wokeism happened to be around, and it's been a complete disaster. We need to sort this out, otherwise we can kiss goodbye to our society within a few years. So seriously, do whatever you can. I am. No reason why you shouldn't be. Uh, I appreciate we've all got stuff to do, but, you know, we also... We, we we want in four years time to not be living in a weird sort of trans utopian communist world which would be awful so um you know i can't believe they passed the the guilty verdict on donald trump for no crime they couldn't prove the crime crime they brought him to um court for but the, the case lawyer actually argued um that it didn't matter because uh, in his summation, the, the, sorry, not the defence or the um, the judge, that it didn't matter that there was no crime. They just could have a look through all the documents and see if they could find any crimes. But well done. You had to make it a felony by your star bringing in your star witness. He fails. Surely it's dropped from a felony because there's no felony counts in the other documents. It's ridiculous. Anyway, uh, we'll catch up soon. You be good. I'll be lucky. Uh, I'll speak to, speak to you soon.